Hey, Matt. Thanks for letting me uh, interview you. My pleasure. So, uh, did you hear that NASA is going to the moon uh, with people in 2024? I did. Uh, Mr. Price told us that the other day. <laughs> okay, but well, before that, you, you didn't know about it. I did not actually know that they were... Well, I knew that they were in the works to go back to the moon, but I did not hear any definites yet. Yeah, um, Mike Pence... Um, you know, reconstituted the Space Council. Right. And they've been, I think they've had like three or four meetings, but in the last one that they had, basically said, you know, we should be able to go to the moon in 2024. If our current contractors aren't up to it, let's get new ones. Uh, like some strong words. All right, he put, he put the deadline on them. Put some deadlines on them. Good, good, yeah. Um, so do you think it's likely that it actually happened? I think it will happen. 2024 is pretty ambitious for government standards, so mm. I'm guessing that with government delays and cost overruns that it might be delayed, but I'm optimistic. Uh, would it change your opinion any to know that like the rocket that they're developing has been in the works for more than like a decade at this point? Uh, that, that would be positive. I would, <laughs> I would feel better about that, yeah. And has should have already had launch, but is like many years over... Uh, time like you that's, said that's so. exactly yes that's not uncommon I think for government work yes and I used to work for the government so oh really um, where'd you work? well I didn't work for the federal government I worked for state government local government and universities and things so they have a different speed you're saying that's exactly right um, so NASA is also sending experiments and payloads and rovers and things like that to the moon and they're taking a different approach um, instead of actually building the rocket themselves or having a contractor build it directly for them. They're actually doing like a FedEx DHL type model where they have like 13 companies that you go and figure out how to build the probe and do the rocket. Just, we have this package, we need it on the, this place on the moon, we'll pay you this much. So NASA's not coming up with the specs, they're just coming up with the, the what they want. Exactly. Okay, well that should help. Yeah. Let's let the engineers figure it out. Yeah. And then you also have the competition too, right. since there's like 13 mm -hmm. companies that are all yeah, kind of... I guess that's how they've been doing it with um, fighter planes for years. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Boeing versus Lockheed versus, yeah. Of course, um, Boeing and Lockheed seems like yeah, a really they merged. Yeah. comfortable, <laughs> comfortable uh, duopoly type mm -hmm. uh, thing. Right. Yeah. Um, so does it excite you? It uh, does, yeah. I, I like technology. I like moving forward. I think it's a good good way to spend the resources. Ambitious. And for people who say that, uh, you know, maybe we should do other things with the money, what would be kind of your response to them? Well, you know, uh, there's probably a lot of things that could be done with a lot of different kinds of monies. So um, I would just as soon look for something ambitious to spend to... If it's going to be a waste of money or if it's going to cost a lot of money, I'd rather do something ambitious than something that just benefits a few. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, well, will you celebrate? Uh, sure, I will. Yeah, I'll watch it. Throw a, throw a party? Uh, you know, I will probably attend a party. Attend a party. I, I'm better at attending than I am at throwing. Well, I'll make sure I invite you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you very much. Okay.